There was a movie that was done back in 2014 for my book, which Zizzy gave Honey Boy. In the movie, and there it is. You can get it on Amazon. It's only a 15-minute movie because the woman playing my Aunt Zizzy, <laughs> may both their souls rest in peace, was Doris Roberts, who played the mother in that big TV series, Everyone Loves Raymond. I was blackballed because I was the first to say America wouldn't win the Afghan war. Here is a clip for the promo of Zitsi and Honey Boy. All of this was brought upon us in a single day. Either you are with us or you are with the terrorists. We're going to lose in Afghanistan. Tell the network guys I said that. I'm not anti-American. I love my country. The only thing that matters at the end is how you lived your life. I stood up like a man while everybody, almost 90% of the Americans, supported a lone life piece of murderous shit like little daddy's boy, dickless prick, murderer, George W. Bush. We're going to get that guy, Osama Bin Laden. We're going to bring him back, get him alive. And everybody waving flags and tying yellow ribbons around everything that wouldn't move. And I said, listen, if Alexander the Great couldn't pull it off, if into the valley of death rode the 600, the British at the top of the British Empire, as it was slaughtering millions of people all over the world with the sun never setting on their empire, if they couldn't pull it off, if the Russians couldn't pull it off, what makes you think the Americans could pull it off? They sent us to war based on lies. Listen to this clip and listen to what George Bush says. All of this was brought upon us in a single day. Either you are with us, or you are with the terrorists. The only thing that matters is how you live your life. I have a definition of hell. Taking that last breath, and knowing you weren't the person you said you were or could have been. This is from the magazine. USA Today used to run my top trends when it was a big magazine every month. 2001, nope, won't be our year, Trendseer says. World is against us dangerous Americans. Payback's a bitch. People forget what America was doing, what Bill Clinton was doing, murdering people all over the world. Back in the days of newspapers and newspapers and people read them, I would often be quoted and was a regular feature. The USA Today ritual was to be the first to publish my top trends for the year ahead. On the fateful day of December 14, 2000, USA Today ran the headline, 2001 will not be our year, Trendseer says. Nine months before 9-11, I had forecast that Americans wouldn't be safe at home or abroad. That's how the Zizzy story begins. George W. Bush swiftly sends the U.S. military to invade and occupy Afghanistan as the nation rallies around him. Some 90% of Americans hail to the chief with their American flags flying everywhere and yellow ribbons tied to everything. I refused to join the masses in the march to war. I knew it would be disastrous for the nation and the world, but the mindset of the nation was in a different place. The mindset of the nation is in a different place today as it was back then, by the way. I was blackballed by the media at a time when President Bush warned anyone who would not support his war you are with us or you're with the terrorists. Could you imagine a little fuck saying to me that face to face? I was also accused of being anti-American because I predicted the Afghan war would end a defeat. Now, 12 years later, having future, this again, this is back in 2014, the fall edition. 
Now, 12 years later, having further deteriorated economically, militarily, and morally, America has gone from bad to worse. Republican or Democrat, whoever's in charge makes little difference. When all else fails, they take you to war. And this economy is failing big time. Again, nobody says that this war, where the Democrats came out, many of them are opposed to Biden pulling out the troops. I launched Occupy Peace and I fight for freedom, peace, and justice. How could we let these low lives do this? Not a word. I am the man. The man that stood up against everybody and gave up a lot of money for speaking the truth. And that's what the Trends Journal is. The truth in trends. We don't get bored off. 